intro na ba? Hindi pa rin siya nag-intro. Roll the intro. Now that we've seen the unboxing of the Moza Mini S, let's transition to the mobile setup in three, two, wish me luck, one. Okay, so this is me with the Moza Mini S and my iPhone 10. We'll be roaming around Greenbelt Mall using the front cam of my phone since that's what most phone vloggers do. They use their front cam so that they can see themselves while vlogging and by the way I won't be able to do my normal transitions with this gimbal because like see that it doesn't really whip like what my DSLR does so this is going to be a raw vlog okay, so this is me testing out <laughs> The mobile set of the Moza Mini S. Luya. Ano yun? Amoy Luya. Amoy Luya daw. <laughs> What's Luya in English? Alam Comment down below kung ano yung English ng Luya. We we're just walking around here, around Greenbelt Mall, to test out the stabilization of this gimbal. And so far, so good. I'm using my front cam, no mic, since most phone vloggers start out with no mic at all and we already have the advantage of using the Moza Mini S for this one so I don't know how the audio will sound in post I'm hoping that it'll sound acceptable so this gimbal has a lot of features like the time-lapse mode and uh, and the inception mode so we'll be testing out both features when we get outside so guys, so far, what are your thoughts with the Moza Mini S? Like I said, this is a raw setup of a mobile vlogger, except for the gimbal, of course. No mic, just relying on the audio of the phone itself. And uh, level one vlogger. Level one vlogger, no. <laughs> level, level two. two. Level two, mga level three. two. Mga level three kasi naka-gimbal na. Ah, sige, two or three. And if you have long arms, you can actually make it like a wide, wide lens type thing if you have short arms because most Filipino it'll be like this <laughs> most Filipino girls are vloggers paano nga wakang dun? yeah yeah double tap tama sold yan ganda lang ka short ang short ng arms ko siya ma ano arms niya yung ganun eh Now we are outside. We're going to test how the time lapse feature of this of this device. Um, it can actually do like the what do you call that? The panning time lapse mode thing. Yeah. yeah. It's called. What do you call that? Time span. Whatever. <laughs> Guys, um, so you saw the time lapse feature. Now I'm gonna do this. Watch, watch. You know Tony Stark, right? This one has the follow feature. All you have to do is draw on the screen and it'll follow you anywhere. The time lapse feature of this uh, gadget, both the standard and the panning feature, is 
pretty impressive. My DSLR doesn't have that. So for all you phone vloggers out there, this is going to be an advantage for you guys. So you can take like cinematic time lapse, like panning shots. That's one thing to consider when when you want to purchase this this item. Later on when I get home, I'll be discussing the specs and uh, the price of this of this gimbal. So far, my impression of this uh, gimbal, it actually makes phone vlogging fun for change, for me at least, because I never, I never used the gimbal when I started vlogging with a phone. I just held it with my hands, and then eventually the Manfrotto tripod. But now using this one actually gives me the the freedom to to walk faster without worrying about shaky footage and uh, the time-lapse feature of this the panning time-lapse mode was pretty sick gotta admit So brown and convenient to pwede ka mag-body montage. Video kasi hindi mo sumabaw. Tayo sa mga iota. What the hell, bro? Ah, my god. Okay, so ito yung ano, low light test dial. Ang tagal niya gumamit ng gimbal kanina. So nauwi na ako sa low light. At least low light, di ba? Angas pala pag bone vlog no, parang pwede ka lang magtamang trip lang. Hmm. Tamang trip ka lang. Kaya raw vlog. This is, this is... A raw vlog. A hilaw vlog. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think of my mobile vlog? Comment down below, let me know. Now let's get down to the specs and features of the Moza Mini S. The Moza Mini S is very lightweight. It has a three axis gimbal, which is 270 degrees pan, 200 degrees tilt, and 315 degrees roll. It has a compact design, which folds to only 7.7 .7 inches in length which is good news for all of you who loves traveling. It can carry smartphones up to 9.2 ounces and 2.28 to 3.46 inches in wide. The object tracking of the device is very accurate. So accurate, in fact, that when I tried to turn it off, it tilted down. <laughs> the Moza Mini S also supports hyperlapse, slow motion, inception, sport gear, vertigo, and additional modes which you can access via their app, which is the Moza Genie. All you have to do is to download it on the App Store if you're an iOS user or from the store that Android users downloads from. And for all of you who love streaming on Instagram and stuff, good news, the gimbal can do portrait mode. All you have to do is to turn it to portrait mode and you're all set. The Moza Mini S also has focus control, one button zoom, and quick playback control, which again, you can access all those features once you download the Moza app from the store, from the App Store or the Android store. You might be asking what phones does the gimbal support? Well, it can actually support the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7 Plus, 7, 6S Plus, 6S, the 6, and the 5S. And for Huawei users, it can support the P10, the P10 Plus, the Mate 10 Pro, and the Mate 10. And for Samsung users, it can support the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the Note 8. And for Xiaomi, how do you pronounce this, guys? It can support the Mi, Mi X2, and the Mi. So a lot of phones being covered by the gimbal. As for the price of the gimbal, the Moza Mini S 
is priced at 5,495 pesos. And I can't stress this enough, guys. If you're planning to buy the Moza Mini S, please buy from authorized dealers only. If not, then Moza Philippines won't be able to cover your warranty. So what's my final verdict after using the Moza Mini S? Well, if I was just starting out vlogging and all I had was my phone, then yes. The Moza Mini S is very, very good for vlogging. Its features allows you to do all sort of stuff to make your phone vlog footage cinematic. If I had this when I was just starting out vlogging using my phone, then I probably wouldn't have bought the Canon G7X Mark II that quickly. The only downside I see is when you're using your phone, you'll have to worry about the audio and low light situations, which can be easily rectified by buying a cheap, good quality mic and those little LED lights that you can stick on your phone. And pair that with the gimbal, you're all set. So yeah, that's it. So again, a big, big thank you to Altitude Digital and Moza Philippines for letting us review the Moza Mini S. And a big, big thank you to Gab, Jordan, and Sean for lending me his unit. I still have one more video with the Moza Mini S coming up. It, it's going to be a John's Life on the Side episode. What is it now? Episode 3? I don't know. <laughs> so stay tuned for that one. And that's it. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Be part of the family. If you guys are new here, hi, my name's John Santana. This is my life, John's Life. If you guys liked it, please do consider subscribing. We're a thousand and thirty strong now. So let's keep growing. And comment down below, guys, which was your favorite feature of the Moza Mini S? Comment down below, let me know. And that's it. So until the next one, guys, take care and peace out.